Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke and this is Musketeer Monday. We are watching the BBC's version of Musketeers. We've done the whole of series one, which is available to watch on the channel. And we are now moving on to series two. Series one finale was my favorite episode yet. This one is called Keep Your Friends Close. And if I know that saying well, I think it finishes with, but keep your enemies closer. And I feel like that may be the theme of the first episode. But um, I loved the last episode, thought it was really, really good. Loved the last series, to be fair. But the last episode was a real good cherry on top. D'Artagnan and Constance is a continuing thing that I want to happen. <laughs> There's many obstacles for them to face. The Queen is pregnant and it's definitely with Aramis's child. We will see where that leads us. I don't think anything of those two things is gonna happen immediately. I think they may take some time. Peter Capaldi, I believe, is no longer with us. <laughs> that sounded so depressing. I don't think he's in the Musketeers anymore because he became the Doctor. I think he's replaced by Mark Warren as the sort of series villain, but the ins and outs, I don't know. Milady de Winter was left to run away. Whether or not that's the last we've seen of her, I don't know. But yeah, I'm prepared for series two to be dramatic and messy and juicy. All of the things that series one was, but hopefully a level up. And hopefully in terms of like the story and the character pieces will just be a level up as well. I'm expecting a sort of fresh feel, but familiar feel at the same time. No idea where the story's going to take us. So I guess we should just dive in and begin Musketeers series two, episode one. Keep your friends close. We are gathered here today to give thanks for the life of Cardinal Armand Jean de Richelieu. And we commend his soul to the Lord our God. He died. He popped his clogs. He died. I don't know why I'm shocked. I knew he wasn't in it, but like, whoa. All I know is we're to wait for the village of now and make himself known. Why the mystery? King's council has been in chaos since the cardinal died. No one knows who's in charge. They say he wore out his heart in the service of France. It's a pleasant surprise to hear he had one at all. <laughs> Have mercy on his soul. He's dead. We can afford to be generous. I love him. Well, someone's about to be hanged. Hung? Hanged? Who is this man? What has he done? None of your damn business. We're King's Musketeers. So answer the question politely. He shot our innkeeper in cold blood. Oh my god, are we gonna know him? This is quite the build up to the hood reveal. It's Mark Warren. One of the Cardinal's most loyal lieutenants is agent in Madrid. Cardinal is dead. He is a Cardinal's oh, replacement. He's going to pay for his crime. Let's not make this more difficult than it needs to be. Snake. Sneaky snake. Um. Boys. Ruthless. Shit. Oh my god, is this the birth? It's too much. It's a lot. Series two is a lot. What was that for? To see how it would feel. <laughs> so good. I thought she was going to be pregnant for like the whole series. Wow. It is a boy. Am I being really stupid? Is this a fictional king and queen or are they a factual king and queen? Let me know in the comments. So soon, my dear. I was gonna say. Your side. They might require a man of stature to fill the cardinal's shoes. This is an extraordinary honor, but one I must decline. Whatever ability I have is better employed with the musketeers. And it is a great shame that he is dead and that you are alive. Wow. Where's Constance? I was not the only Frenchman in my prison fortress. It was General Dufour. The general and I were like brothers. We were at military academy together. 
This is all very touching. Mm, prison break. A rescue. Here she is. Oh, her and D'Artagnan still getting it on. We hate and love to see it. They love each other. Mark Warren is an arse licker and thus will get the Cardinal's position. Constance, I'm so glad you're here. D'Artagnan speaks of you in glowing terms. Mm, maybe not in front of a husband. I am looking for a reputable young woman to act as my personal confidant and messenger. I have done my best to instill in her the virtues of duty. Her position will mean her living near me. I assume you have no objection. Whatever your majesty requires. I will see to the arrangements. Mmm. Interesting. He's going to be pissed. Monsieur Bonacieux, how are things in the drapery business? Well, it's always the most versatile of the clothes. Oh, really? Lads. My husband will only hate us more for it. Mmm. <laughs> This hurts. <laughs> oh, it's like it went. Why do I feel like series two is gonna make me cry? She fancies him. Who doesn't? You should not have hit me. After all, I am supposed to hate your country. I want Athos, Porthos, D'Artagnan, and Aramis dead. Why then? I can't tell if I'm gonna like Mark Warren's character or hate him. I like a bad guy, but I hate a dickhead. There's a difference between the two. Lord Voldemort, bad guy. Umbridge, dickhead. We could always arrange an unfortunate accident to happen on the road. Don't tempt me. Sneaky snake. Athos. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Come on, boys. Shoot! What took you so long? Couldn't get a clear line of sight. He did it for show. Mm, I don't like it. Underwater scenes make me uneasy. Oh, I've run out of breath. I would have died. I don't like it. Mm, this is a bit awkward. Please don't be alarmed. Oh my gosh! Keep away! You're undressed. Not for your benefit, I can assure you. Dear God. Could you not have found some other place for your entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's unconscious. Weird. I'm D'Artagnan of the King's Musketeers. I come to rescue General de Foix. I'm Lucy de Foix, the, the General's sister. Sister? Something is wrong, General? You do not like chess? I don't like you. <laughs> is this polite, General? What is your name? Porthos. Porthos de Bonon. Have we met? I don't believe so. I'm not sure I liked that. I'm sorry. General, you must go first. Not ah. my sister. You're the prize they want. <gasps> oh. Lucy! Oh, I'll go. 
Oh my god, what a nightmare. I thought the same, Athos. Isn't that funny? No, no, no. Thank you. Oh, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Also, I don't like how close D'Artagnan and Lucy seem to be. They're quite cute, actually, but Constance. Hello. He's a sneaky snake. He is a sneaky snake. Welcome home, General. It's a bit too long, my friend. Oh, little chums. Oh, yeah, careful. Mm. Get him inside. Look at Constance. The position of Captain of the Red Guards has been vacant. It is yours. If you want it. I am overcome. I am glad at least one of our loyal subjects understands his duty. Unacceptable. You must tell me how you executed your brilliant scheme. Here we go, D'Artagnan. How is he? I don't want a love triangle. I don't think I'm ready for one. I don't know. <laughs> Do we like it as an audience? Do we like this or not? I genuinely can't tell because I think she's very sweet and I think they clicked straight away. But Constance. She is married though, Constance. Maybe this is the better outcome. Oh, hun. Why did you choose Bonacieux? You loved me. I know you did. You make it sound so easy. Isn't it? If I lost you, I'd lose everything. <laughs> I can't take that chance. You know, I've known you as many things, Constance. Never as a coward. They hurt me. <laughs> they hurt me. I have a message from the Cardinal. From beyond the grave. To answer a summons from the Cardinal. I should have nailed down the coffin lid myself. <laughs> She got shot. She chose you. The Cardinal said you'd understand the necessity for her death. The Cardinal knew all your secrets. Would expose your sins even from beyond the grave. Oh my god. First Isabel, now Adele. Every woman I truly love dies. All the more reason to stay away from the Queen and the Dauphin. <laughs> Is this guy going to die after all this? The musketeer called Balthos. He's Belgar's son, isn't he? He'd like to die, knowing I'm not responsible for the boy's death. I couldn't live with what we'd done. So I searched for them for years, without success. Does Balthos know? No. You must tell him who his father is. We made a vow. We swore to Belgard we would never betray him. Orthos can never know who his family is. We were wrong. And if you won't tell him, I will. Why rake up the past now? Don't ask me to take my guilty soul to the grave. What the fuck? Oh God. Here we go. We'll bring this country to its knees. Be careful, Rochefort. I will be watching you closely. Shit. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was a good opening. Very, very solid. Um, but they open series one just as well, I think. It is that fresh but familiar energy that I sort of was expecting and asked for. Mark Warren's character is going to be interesting. I think 
there's going to be moments where I'm like living for him. And I think there are going to be moments where I'm like, why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> so I think I'm going to flick with him very much so. Constance and D'Artagnan, they're going to drag that on and on and on. And it's going to break me. <laughs> Lucy is very sweet. And I think he and her did click immediately. So they're a good match. She is single, I presume. So I think that might be the best route to go for for now, but we'll see. I don't know whether Lucy will be a returning character or not. Can't believe Aramis's son has been born. I really wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. Plot lines that have been planted that I think are going to carry on throughout the series. Porthos's dad is a storyline I wasn't expecting and I'm very intrigued to find out. But Porthos is my precious little baby and if anything happens to him or if he gets upset, I will be upset because we're connected. <laughs> I sound psychotic. <laughs> the thread of like the Cardinal knowing all the Musketeers secrets. I don't know whether that will continue and whether Mark Warren will find out some things and sort of use it against them. Um, it's going to be a ride and I think it's going to get messy, maybe a bit emotional. It's going to be interesting and I think we need to buckle up. Or I need to. You guys have seen it. I think I need to buckle up and see what the hell is going to happen next. Because <laughs> right now, no idea. But I'm excited for it. And if you are too, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell and click like. Leave a comment in the spoiler-free comment section. And I will see you next week for episode two. Bye.